Okay, so it is Wednesday night, and we are doing um, 3B.3 on page 16. Tonight we're going to be looking at the slope of a line on a graph, and I'm going to teach you how you can figure out the slope from just looking at a line on a graph and what the y-intercept is. Okay, so let's, let's review that our y equals mx plus v, that's our slope intercept form, standard slope form, and in that um, we know that the m is what? The m is your slope and the b is your y intercept, okay? All right, so we can look at this line. So what we're going to do, how we do this, is we're going to pick two pretty points, what I call pretty points. So um, a pretty point is where the line, of the, um, the line itself crosses through um, two points on the graph that uh, are two lines that cross. So there's one right there. It's a good one there, and here's a good, good one. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to call this point A and this one point B, okay? just so you know the difference. And this is going to be A and this is going to be B. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to put their, their ordered pair of this point here, X, Y, ordered pair of this one here, B, X, Y, okay? So we have um, the A, point A is negative 1, 2, 3. Negative 3 is our X value. And our Y is negative 1, 2, 3 negative 3. All right, so what I did is I just pretty much discovered what the ordered, what the um, value of that is. Now, so the value of B at 0, I mean B, your X is 0 because it's right there at 0 on the 0, on the X axis is 0. And your Y is 1, 2, 3. So this one is 0, comma, 3. So, remember yesterday we learned our slope formula from two points is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have to plug those things in. So this is your x1, and this is your x2, y1, y2. Okay, so start with your second y, which is 3, and then y2, I mean y1, which is negative 3. So we're just putting it in. 3 minus negative 3 over x2, 0, minus negative 3. So before I can solve this, I have to see, like, look at the top. We have two double negatives, minus a negative. Remember, keep, flip, change. So it's going to equal 3 plus 3 is 6. 0, keep, flip, change. 0 plus positive 3 is going to be a positive 3. And that's going to be 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now we know our m is 2. Let me show you something how you can kind of check that. So basically what that's saying is you rise to and you go over one each time. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. And all of those points would land on that line. So it's a rise to over one. It's a positive two slope. All right. Now your B is your Y intercept. Where does it cross? Where does it intercept the Y axis? Well, this is your y-axis. 
to highlight that for you. That's your y-axis. And it intercepts the y-axis right there. Actually, it's at your point B, um, which has nothing to do with the intercept being little b. So it crosses at y equals 1, 2, 3. So your B is 3. So what that means, remember yesterday when we were looking at our notes? In class, I mean, yeah, Tuesday in class. And we were at this page on page 12. And I told you your B would always be your Y value when X is 0. Only when X is 0. Watch. Well, here, our X was 0, so our B is our Y value. And the reason why is because anything that's 0 is going to fall on the... When x is 0, the point falls on that y-axis. It intercepts that y-axis. So if we, did, if we wanted to write this out in um, y equals mx plus b form, could we? Do we have the information? Yes. We have y equals m. Our m is 2. x plus b. And our b was 3. So that would be the equation of this line. 2x plus 3. Okay, let's look at number four. Let's do number four. All right, so we take our line. We're going to find two pretty points. Look, here's one. Here's another. I mean, you could have found two others, but... Um, so this is point one, and this is point two. We call them point one and two now instead of A and B. So that you have, you know, where your x1 is and your x2, your y1 and y2. Okay, so point 1 is x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. And your y is 1, 2, 3. Okay, point 2, your x is 0. Your y is 4. Oh, look, guys, we have x is 0, and our y is 4. So what did we just learn about if your x is 0? Do you already know what the b is, what the y-intercept is? Yes, because, look, that's where it crosses the y-axis, right there. So we know right now we can say our uh, b is 4. We know that. It crosses at the 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those in. We have 7, 3 is our... First point, 0, 4 is our second point. So now, let's see here. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2, 4, minus y1, 3, over x2, 0 minus x1, 7. 4 minus 3, 1. 0 minus 7, negative 7. So your m is a negative 1 7. So negative 1 7. So now, can you please make your equation? y equals m. What's our m? Negative 1 7 x plus b, 4. That's the equation of that line. And I just realized that I did something wrong. <laughs> this is a negative 4. Why, your y was negative 4. So that should have been a negative. I hope you've caught that. So this needs to change here. So up here, this negative, negative 4, This hog, seriously. Now it's negative seven over negative seven. Uh so guys, I messed up. I'm so sorry. When I changed that to a negative four, it changed my whole problem. That's why it's really important not to, to make sure you're you're doing things right. 
So that makes this a negative 7, which in fact, negative 7 divided by negative 7 is a positive 1. So now our m is a positive 1. And this is just x plus 4. 1x plus 4 if you want. Okay, so hope that you caught that. I'm so sorry about that mistake. But now you can see, well, I make mistakes too. We have to really slow down and make sure we are plotting our points correctly. But that's it. Um, tomorrow, when we're in class, we're going to be, um, we're going to go over what to do if you can't find the exact points. If there's not pretty points on a line. We're going to go over that in class. Have a good night.